Well, good morning, John's Pepper World, back with a new video. This is a cross pepper that my buddy uh, has made. These are some beautiful pods. And we're just having a little yard sale out here today, so I'm not out selling. Uh, but we've got uh, some of the plants out here. This Marasuki uh, purple pepper is starting to produce some pods there. It's a nice pod. Um, and this... Um, I think is a, um, um, a mustard habanero, sorry. Uh, and then we've got some other nice little pods coming in there on these jalapeno plants. And my wife's got her plants out here for sale also. Uh, she has some um, mangoes right there, her succulents. My uh, new crossed uh, that were in the tent. I'm out here selling these. These are selling uh, well to folks. They're getting big. They're getting big. So let's take a walk uh, in the back. Um, I recently went and picked up, I don't know how many buckets to uh, grow in next year. I'm going to do the self-watering buckets, you know, one inside each other. So I'll do a video about that. A lot of people have also done that. And I've got a lot of my plants out here. Uh, this Aleppo uh, plant right here has got a lot and a lot of pods on it, but it's not doing too well. We, we took it out of the ground, put it in a pot to uh, sell it because we have so many. And I sold one yesterday. It's doing better than this one. So we'll see how this one does. And I think it will be okay. Uh, but all the, uh, the plants, except for this, uh, Carolina Reaper. This is a huge plant. I mean, this plant is just massive. But it doesn't have any pods yet. So, kind of weird. This um, peach um, gosh, now I'm sugar rush peach. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm at a loss for <laughs> words right there. Uh, that is a, a habanero right there. That's weird. It's tiny. And it already turned orange. I just don't understand it. So and maybe it is a habanero. Maybe it isn't. Um, I don't know. And then we're starting to get some beautiful pods on this one right here. And this one is a big yellow mama is what these are as you can see the pods are really starting to come in nicely on these some real beautiful pods and so like i said they're starting to fruit they're starting to turn colors we're starting to get more and more um, of the uh the super hot coming in uh to their own with fruit Oh, the leaf fell off there. This one is an orange habanero right there. But my pride and joy as of late is this orange ghost pepper right here. It is really putting out some beautiful pods. And they're really turning colors. It's got, it is chock full of peppers under here so hooray that is a good thing so the backyard we uh, actually we dug these two plants up they were out in um, out in the yard out there there were little saved plants that my wife saved these are Diablo Negro um, and as you can see starting to produce it's got some nice pods on it already, right there. Um, but these were planted out there with the little plants that my wife um, saved. So all these plants are really uh, doing great. Uh, they all have pods on them, uh, which is fantastic. You got to love to see something living that was otherwise going to just be discarded. So I thank you, uh, my dear, um, for saving these baby pepper plants and letting them live. This is another Aleppo. Uh, we had a whole bunch of those. 
And some of those plants came out of areas like this. We just pulled them up because they were uh, growing. This is a plant that my wife put there. I'm not sure what she's doing with it, but she'll probably save it and make it grow. She's that way. Uh, but as you remember, you can look back in some of the other videos. These were just the babies. And they're in full sun all day, every day. No shade from about noon to about five or six. So, as you can see a hole there, we dug up uh, the marasuki that's outside in the tent that I showed, or outside underneath the thing is from there. Um, we got a new composter. We got it for like 10 bucks off of uh, one of the sites off the Facebook page. Um, so that's going to come in handy. All of the others that my wife saved have really started taking off. They're blooming. They're producing fruit. They're producing peppers, whatever you would like to call them. I mean, look at this. I'm going to have to step in here. hope I don't step on nothing, but those peppers some beautiful peppers growing so like I said that's just some of the some of the peppers that are really coming in really taking off there's some more here look at that beautiful pod right there Wow nice and being new at this and this being my first year, I'm real excited to see plants doing so well. Um, because I've, you know, I've never done anything like this. This is one of those cotton candy peppers. There's no heat to it, but they taste really good. My son even eats these. He really likes that. So getting him started in the pepper world. Um, these things are huge. I mean, they're, you know, this is a five foot tall tent and sure they're on this little plateau but they're really starting to get big so um, we pulled out the um, alipos from here and here that you might remember from another video they're out there for sale that's the one that's having a problem I've got my habanero here that I have to uh, pick again I just picked it last week I'm gonna have to pick it again this thing is just such a beautiful plant and it produces so much um, and they're very tasty very tasty some of my wife's this just started growing by itself we didn't even plant this I'm not even sure what it is my wife could tell me but it's a, a, a vegetable of some sort and her trees and we transplanted these two eggplants one was here and one was over there and she transplanted them over here and they're still producing like crazy i mean we can't eat these things fast enough my wife ends up uh, giving them away now what i want to show you is something that we just got i got it in selma california which is my new sunshade this sunshade is um, 28 16 24 foot long by 48 inches wide and five foot tall it's an all metal construction not metal i'm sorry but you know these poles conduit poles with connectors on it it's beautiful it's a uh, 75 percent 50 to 75 percent sunshade on it it was down in Selma, California at Frank's Tarps and Canopies. I believe everything out the door was $168. If you guys are in Selma, California, or if you can get to Selma, California, you need something like that, um, please look him up or contact me on this video and I will gladly give you his information. He's not sponsoring me. There's no sponsorship. That's just... Um, we really like this and uh, this was a good investment from the hoops as you might remember so all of our plants are now completely covered under this long 24 foot uh, section um, so everything is growing look at this 
what the heck we got there we got pods we got beautiful pods we've got more things growing let's see what it is that is a reaper bonnet cross gwen so starting to get pods we'll have to show some more of these once once they really get uh, going and like i said it's uh it's a really nice shade i did cut back some of these plants that were really getting tall i just topped them because they weren't producing uh excuse me they weren't producing any uh fruit at all and or they weren't producing any um uh, flowers so what i did was i just topped them down on some of them just to uh take away from that stretchy growth to try and promote some uh some bloomage and we fertilize with bloom and some other stuff so we'll see um, like I said, we've got, uh, other stuff growing, some yams there, my wife's other stuff. She's really taken off with her succulents also, and other assorted flowers that she really likes. There's two malungi, um, that we're growing. Gotta love malungi, gotta put it in soup. Beautiful. All of her nice succulents are back here some beautiful plants that she grows um, yep all right you guys i will cut this off for now i just wanted to make a quick video and say <clears throat> thank you to everybody who's been viewing um, i've only got 26 subscribers so far but to those people that have subscribed so far thank you so much um, it means a lot that uh, people are starting to watch the videos i'm getting more and more views um, so if you uh, like the videos, please give it that thumbs up. Don't remember? Remember? Don't remember? No. Please remember <laughs> to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Uh, tell me what I could be doing differently. What you think? Uh, what you like? What I could uh, do better at? What I've done well? So, and tell my next video. You know what? Go to a home center. Go to a Lowe's. Go to wherever. Get a hot pepper plant. Start growing it. You can grow your own. They're so easy to grow. They don't take a lot of um, time. Just show them a little bit of love and you too can grow your own plants. Whether they're hot peppers or some other type of fruit or vegetable. So I will leave you with one of my favorite plants right now which is this orange ghost pepper I showed you earlier. This thing is throwing off some beautiful pods. So, all right, you guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.